the main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. Granny asked, tell us your favorite and least favorite match at WrestleMania. There was a lot of great matches. Yes, there was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. <laughs> Granny's a harsh critic. Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't watch Raw. Yeah. Golly, talk about back to the same old crap. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter- I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther. Really? Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune mm-hmm. and by E. By E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain, I keep saying this. John Cena versus Austin Theory. Maybe I am the only one. I really like this match. Prime mascot saves Logan at one point, pulls him out of the ring to rake him a pin, unmasks, and every wrestling fan in the world thought it was our truth. Had some uh, questions here about Trish Stratus's physique that I will not ask here, but I went on Twitter. Everyone was asking the exact same thing. Her breasts? Yes. They were going to do a big Snoop entrance with Sasha. It had been uh, kind of in the works for a long time. And Sasha's not with WWE right now, so Ray got it. I thought this match was great. Dominic is fucking great. This is the hardest hitting match of this night of WrestleMania. It's like, Rhea and Charlotte, you're not going on last, but you go out there and do the closer. I mean, they went out there and they did a WrestleMania main event match. And boy, was it awesome. They've been through a lot. And uh, here they are, tag team champions, main eventing WrestleMania together as friends. They were on such a high when the show was over, which contrasted so drastically from the way everybody left after the second night. It's astonishing. I was expecting this match to be a 10 on the granny scale. I got like a 35. You know, they start hitting each other. 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 If there's wrestling in heaven, it looks like this match. Hunter has the terrible story that one of them lost their mom that morning and still went through. The littlest one at the end. The The, contortionist. The contortionist. God. Who was still out there with a big giant smile. Uh, (laughs) God. Yeah, watch this entrance for sure. One of the highlights of the show was, in fact, Snoop Dogg beating The Miz. And yes, of course his people's elbow was horrible. What were you expecting? It's Snoop Dogg. (laughs) So he's sitting there in all this pain, first from being split open, then from being put back together, and he's feeling every fucking staple go into his fucking skull. Yeah. And then he had to go back in and keep wrestling. Yeah. So anyway... That guy deserves an MVP of the weekend award. If I had a wrestling school, I wanted to show one match of the weekend to my students to learn how to wrestle. It's this Cody Roman battle here. Solo, who was ejected, just comes on back. He hits a spike. Roman hits a spear and wins. The fuck? I cannot say that the crowd died because they didn't. It was one of the loudest reactions. But not like a pop. It was like 65,000 people went, Ah! Like, What? It was the weirdest fucking noise I ever heard. And man, poor Cody, just a beaten man. It was so depressing. Yeah. It was so fucking depressing. That's when I knew, fuck, he's back. He was back the next day. I heard it was all downhill from that after that point. Historically, there were always debuts on the Raw after WrestleMania. The very first thing they do on the Dynamite after WrestleMania mm. is they debut a brand new guy. We got our big WrestleMania weekend debut on Dynamite. And nothing on Raw. I thought he was going to WWE, but he chose AEW, and I wonder how much of that had to do with Vince coming back. It is time for the MJF Day celebration. We begin with jazz. I don't mean the former WWE Women's Champion. I mean the actual music form, jazz. MJF talking about how great Long Island is, and he mentions, when it rains here, it rains pennies from heaven. And then he sang the song. And I mean the entire song. Watching him sing this song, there's a live band, he's dancing, and he's singing, 
and the place is just losing their shit for this guy. And granted, it's Long Island, so he's supposed to be a baby face. Mm. But uh, not to harp on this point for the 85th time, but I, I fucking watched this thing and I was like, you could have gone baby face with this guy. <laughs> like, it was right there. They wanted it. Like, look at this fucker. We're doing the first ever AEW All In August 27th from London, England. Adam Cole is there to say, yes, we are doing London Wembley Stadium in their London debut. All I can say is that that if they do not do Stadium Stampede in Wembley, total waste. But FTR counters it with double sunset flips. Yeah. And the referee counts one, and the referee counts two, and the referee counts three. And FTR are once again your world tag team champions. And FTR is not leaving AEW. No, it turns out they're going to stay put. Indy Hartwell comes out for a promo. The fans are rapidly chanting, you deserve it. And I have no comment. Any skit where masked wrestlers are wearing their masks out in public. In their street clothes. Automatic thumbs up. Nathan Frazier just decided, I'm going to be the best wrestler on the planet tonight. God damn, he was so great in this match. And he runs off. And Mackenzie says, good luck. And Wes, who has already run away, shouts, thank you. I love Wesley. Happy Wesley is awesome. He must never lose again. When he loses, he sucks. Yeah, of course I dated around. Of course I played the field. We were never exclusive. And then now the virgin's like, God damn, she's right. Now he's blaming himself. You can see every single person's, what they're thinking and their motivation. It's logical for every single person involved in this thing right here. I love this storyline. Three names about to debut. Can I say them? Oba Femi. Mm-hmm. Tank Ledger. Yes. And Danny Palmer. Yes. Okay, Braun Breaker either needs to be called up or he needs to be turned heel. Because at the end of the day, it's developmental. If you want Braun to be a main roster star, then he should have a babyface run in developmental. He should have a heel run. He should have a championship run so that he can work on all of these different things. And then he can go to the main roster and be ready. So it looks like he's staying to be heel. 